Okay, on this week's show we're back at home in Ayrshire, um, early in the doe season. We're up at a, a little piece of ground, it's, it's, a, it's one of my favourite little bits of ground actually, it's got a little bit of everything. Uh, there's some open area on a, on a banking that's bounded by a railway line, there's a nice sort of small broadleaf area of woodland and then there's some commercial conifer planted in and among it, but there's a lot of open area. It's actually marked out for, uh, with some footpaths, so a walking area. Although, I mean, in southwest Scotland, we don't get many walkers, but there are one or two that kind of use it regularly. So particularly at this time of year, early in the door season, with daylight hours as they are, uh, and on a weekend, you will get one or two people probably out reasonably early walking the dog, which they're perfectly entitled to do. So here I like to get onto the ground early, uh, before it's light, um, sort of get into position and, and, and sort of stalk, uh, because the first part of the ground is, is the start of the, of the walk, if you like. So... I like to check that area first, see if there's anything on there, just as it's coming light, and then we kind of progress further into the broadleaf woodland, which is a little bit away from the footpath, so we can still kind of stalk in there, even if there's one or two people walking and enjoying the, uh, the Ayrshire countryside. Feeding all right, but obviously there's something seriously wrong with it. I suspect it's probably road traffic, because this is right close to the road, and it's quite a fast stretch of, it's quite a little country road, and it's a fast stretch, so I just wonder if that's maybe the cause of that. So we've come really early before first light. We're going to sort of, the wind's wrong to get into it from this position, so we're going to work around, come in just before the light gets up. Um, I've actually brought a the thermal, so we can see if we can see it in the dark. Um, identify it as the injured one and then sort of try and try and get it shot if we can because obviously it's not going to survive the winter like that so that's the plan this morning it's very still a uh, nice morning so it's going to be quite tricky <laughs> Basically then I worked a, a pincer movement like a big horseshoe to come round up a valley to try and come back into the plateau where there's some hardwoods and I, and I, I thought the row would be. Um, all the way around the dog keeps indicating so she's, she's picking the, the, the scent up so I knew the deer were there. And I expect there'd be more than one row because there usually is. Uh, but by the time we'd, we'd, we'd made the loop round, um, unfortunately um, as, it, as often the case either the deer had laid up or it had gone into the trees. So, uh, so she wasn't there, so we kind of progressed on 
to get into the broadleafs. Probably stop for about another 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'm coming down past some brick pillars into the broadleaf woodland. We're working into the into the wind now, so it's kind of perfect it's going across us. Again, dog indicating you'll see that, so I know that she's picking deer up in front of us. So that's my key to drop down a cog or two and really stalk. This is proper stalking in woodland where you really are a couple of paces glass, a couple of paces glass, stand a bit. And we picked up deer through the other side of the thicket. We've got some willow and birch thicket and the deer were not aware of us and kind of feeding on the, on, on the far side of it. And it was quite thick where we were. So what I did, I actually worked left again, a little bit of a horseshoe to coming down below where I was hoping the, the vegetation and the tree stumps, if you like, would have been thinner. Trying to get a position where I could get a shot through onto the, uh, onto the row. Blood everywhere here. Eh? Just went right through. What she'd actually done is run it 
underneath a, a fairly thickish block of conifers. Dog again came in handy, let her cast off and she's kind of straight to it so I could follow him with a dog uh, and she showed me where it was. Amazing how far you can run in these, just a little bit into this thick cover, incredibly difficult to find. That's where she comes in handy. We'll get this out, we'll get it rolling up. Good lass, good lass. Okay, super condition dope. I'm not seeing many ticks at all, which is often for this area quite common. Anyway, we'll have a closer look. I always find it's nice if you get a good comfortable working height. We'll spread those legs as wide as we can. Well, grouch, dear. No terrible manners. Go on, Josh. So that was a young doe, nicely, um, nicely taken off the ground. So that's the start of the good girl. Good girl. 